This is part two of the video series showing how I intend to fit linear ball rails like this which are very low in friction but quite stiff and accurate in motion to the cross slide of the lathe in order that I can improve accuracy for grinding, specifically grinding some motorcycle engine cams. One problem is when I mount the slides onto here, the bearing blocks are wider than this particular cross slide. This cross slide is too narrow. But I have from an old lathe that was scrapped, this larger cross slide and this is just about the right width to suit the linear slides. So this video is basically about how I prepared this old uh, cross slide to be suitable for this, to take the bearing blocks. An important consideration here is that the height of the top of the new cross slide is on the same level relative to the spindle axis of the lathe because I've got several uh, fixtures and tools that I've made in the past which will bolt on here and rely on being aligned or at a specific height relative to the lathe spindle and in fact the grinding head that goes on the back which will be uh, used for the cam grinding has been dimensioned to put it on the centre height of the lathe when bolted onto this surface. So if we measure off the surface that the rails will be fitted onto here I get 37 millimetres. The rails are 24 millimeters thick in total so what's left above the rails to this surface will be 13 millimeters so if I just bolted these onto the bottom here that would raise this too much so the solution for that is I milled pockets underneath here to raise this up without machining too much of this away and losing strength. So if we measure this we get 19 millimeters. 19 millimeters we wanted 13 so that means I've got to mill the pockets six millimeters deep. Well I've already done that milling because I didn't want to to bore any viewers with repetitious machining and if you're watching this I'm sure you're fairly familiar with uh, uh, a bit of milling. So it's more about getting the ideas of how things are aligned uh, that I'm trying to present here. I've already milled the pockets down. If I measure those, they're down to six millimeters. Each one really needs to be on the same plane because otherwise the rails could be twisted or skewed which would prevent proper alignment to the rest of the lay but also it would destroy the free movement it would bind so I was very very careful it all exactly on the, the same plane the sides of these pockets were done these are the same distance away from the outer surface which I clocked up. So that ensures that these are in alignment and the surfaces on the other side were machined parallel to this. Everything was done in the one uh, setting. So the so the two rails come out very true and parallel. So that will fit on here like so. This one, you can probably see here how much of the rail is unsupported by this. But by machining six millimeters off this edge, that will be fully supported. 
There's one other thing that was important for the alignment of the new cross slide to match up with this one. Under here, to drive this back and forth, there's this ball screw. And the ball screw nut through this tapped hole here is held in place with a bolt that goes down through here. Now the lateral location of that hole is very important otherwise we'll be forcing the nut over to one side or the other if we're not accurately aligned here. So what I did for that is it's not an easy thing to measure directly. I can't measure off the side here because there's no direct relationship between the sides of this and the sides of the new cross slide. I just got this piece of plate. From the edge of this plate I can measure to the centre of the hole and make a note of it. Then when the new cross slide is fitted, I'll put this plate back on, I'll be able to mark where the hole needs to be drilled and with luck it should be aligned quite well. So let's just have a look at how this will sit on here when it's done. All this cast iron stuff is a bit heavy for an old bloke. Uh, well, this will sit somewhere like that. I don't know how that compares to its uh, final height. It's probably a little bit low, I would think. What did I say? It was 37, wasn't it? That has to be up. Should tighten that down a bit. No, that's just about 30 and a half. So that has to be raised up. Well, this is a cross slide that I'm going to use. It's considerably wider than the other one, which gives me room to fit in the linear slides. We'll go about there and the other one about here. Now, this has all been um, uh, finished off. It's a fairly simple job in order to be able to bolt bearing blocks for the linear rails on the underside. Let's go over the preparation of this. Firstly I had the, the cross slide mounted upside down. It was clamped down onto the table of the mill like so and then I milled out some pockets here, four pockets to take the four bearing blocks. They fit in like so. The depth the depth of the, the pockets was done so that uh, that surface was 13 millimetres down from the top surface of the slide and that matches the dimension of the existing lathe. So everything else that I have made before fittings to bolt onto the original cross slide will also be at the right height when they're bolted onto this one. And then the mounting holes for the bearing blocks were all drilled using and located using the DRO of the milling machine. Uh, so they were very accurately positioned. And when and when the bearing blocks were bolted into place, the, uh, the slides moved uh, very freely, uh, but when they were measured, uh, they were absolutely dead parallel to one another, so that worked out quite well. Well, the four bearing blocks for the slides have now been bolted on. This is the, uh, what would be the new cross slide, upside down on the milling machine table. As you can see, the slides move quite uh, freely. Uh, don't forget these slides are about double the length of the ones that I'll be using on the lathe. These are just some slides that um, I had for another project. So I'm waiting for some appropriate length slides uh, to come in that I'll actually be using on the lathe. 
Well here it is, it's all assembled in place. Uh, the cross slide has got the bearing box bolted underneath. The rails are sitting on top of the milling machine bed and I've got them clamped down at each end so that they maintain the same distance apart so we can get some idea how well aligned it is and how easy it is to move. Well, it's easy to show how easy it is to move because as you're going to see, I can do it very simply with a little finger. The movement is dead smooth. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, using this on the lathe. It's dead solid in every other way except in the longitudinal direction. So rather than just uh, get a rough idea of how free it is, let's actually measure the drag. I've got this electronic scale here which I'll use to get some idea of what the drag. Right, so I'll pull that along. That's uh, 210 grams, 250, 240, 240. That's not a lot of drag on there. And most of that is actually the friction of the wiper seals that are on the bearing housings. The final thing to do with the preparation of the new cross slide is to arrange some method of oiling these trucks that slide on the rails. Now as they come they have a little brass nipple here uh, which can be connected to an oil or grease gun to pass lubricant into here. Unfortunately this will be buried under the, the cross slide and won't be accessible for oiling. So what I've done to get around the oiling problem is I've pulled the brass nipple out from here as just a push fit in the plastic end piece and that's four millimeters diameter and I've got some four millimeter air hose which is a nice push fit in there and in the cross slide itself on each of the four blocks I've milled a groove to take this hose so the bearing block is fed by this hose which fits nicely into the groove but then I've made this end piece which goes on here and it's drilled just to push fit for the hose and on the other side I've pressed in the nipple that was taken out of here so when the hose is put in there and pushed into this end plate, there's external access for the oiling. And the same oiling arrangement has been implemented for all four of the bearing blocks. So it makes it very, very easy. Well, that pretty much wraps it um, up for the modifications that we need to fit this cross slide. What remains after this is then to do the work on the mill, to position the rails on the top of the saddle. But that will be the subject of another video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and that it uh, proved useful. There will be some um, more uh, uh, tricks, for lack of a better word, on alignment when I put this on to the lathe. There are several thing, factors that have to be uh, taken into account and adjusted when that happens. If you uh, like this video or any of the others please share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the uh, button to receive updates of any other videos. Thanks for watching.